Yo, what's going on, guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage and Learn Body and Paint.com. Hope you're doing well. Uh, type in the chat super quickly and let me know if you are a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member or not. And also, where you're tuning in from. Where are you tuning in from? Let me know. Um, this is your time today. And let me know if you guys are on Facebook or YouTube. Type in the chat. Um, I'm actually in my streaming software, so I don't know if you guys are tuning in from YouTube or Facebook unless you say so. Uh, so let me know if you are tuning in uh, from one of those, what platform you're tuning in from. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys can hear and see me. And most importantly, most importantly, let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Um, it's your time today. Uh, we're doing some auto body q and I'm sorry. Uh, Monday was canceled. Uh, we sent an email update of the cancellation, but I think um, the software, it went live anyway, and a bunch of people jumped on and we were not there. So my apologies for the miscommunication on that. That's why we're doing it today. But <clears throat> every Monday is the actual time, okay? Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern on Monday. <clears throat> cool, 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 cool. Somebody says, Aloha from Arizona. What's up, Sean from Arizona? Dan Swansky. Sawaski. Sawatsky says, loud and clear. Evan says, everything good. Um, from YouTube. YouTube brother. Awesome, 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 awesome. Mostly people from YouTube. Michael G says, VIP YouTube and can hear and see you fine. Awesome. <clears throat> oh, we got a new video dropping out tomorrow on a spray gun review that I did on a cheap spray gun and then versus the, the what was that, the Atom X-16 spray gun, and we did some primer spraying from it. Um, I think it's going to be a cool little video, so check that video out. Um, how many newbies tuning in for the first time? Newbies that never been on live before. This is an auto body Q&A. Um, I would go to the garage, but they're working on some stuff out there, and it's kind of noisy out there, so we're going to just stream from the, uh, from the bus today. <clears throat> are you back in Hawaii? Yes, I'm in Hawaii. Austin, Texas misses you. Thank you so much, Michael G. Um, phase one says, any thoughts on Eastwood products? Honestly, I have never sprayed or used Eastwood products yet, but I, you know, I hear of people using them. I mean, I don't think they're bad. People, people are buying and using the product. So what I would say is test it out, try it out. You know, uh, let me show you the view quickly. Um, I'm in my backyard in a bus, but here's here's kind of like the view out there super quickly. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a little acre piece of property. I'm going to sit down on the couch here and uh, we can go from there. Okay. So, yeah, as far as Eastwood products, I would say just test it out. What are you looking to paint? Let me know, like, what are you looking at? What type of paint? Basically, a clear coat system, a single stage. Um, let me know. Um, I'm actually going to be custom painting a one wheel next week. That's the little next little mini project that I want to do for you guys. Um, maybe I'm going to be testing a fade on it, um, a candy fade on the one wheel cover. If you guys don't know what a one wheel is, it's like a one wheeled skateboard thing um, that we're going to be doing. Uh, somebody, Michael G says, what pressure do you spray with using base coat Atom X 27? Do you have the high volume, low pressure or the low volume, low pressure? Um, it doesn't make a huge difference, but a few PSI less with the low volume, low pressure. Um, but you're going to be spraying pretty much the same pressures coming out. Okay. It's just going to be using less pressure uh, in air consumption, but trigger pulled air coming out of the fan base coat. I normally spray 24, 25, 26 pounds, uh, depending. Okay. So that's, um, the overall where you want to be at. Um, high volume, low pressure. So yeah, with that, you're going to be your average ballpark where you want to be at. And if you guys don't know what he's talking about, this is the spray gun he's talking about. Same spray guns that I use. Um, over at Paradise Garage, um, right over there. So um, check those out. There's a, they're actually going to be doing a Christmas sale uh, from tomorrow. So I wouldn't buy now, but check back at Zula tomorrow 
Here's the link again. Check back Azul tomorrow. I think they're doing 15 to 20% off everything store wide. So you might want to tune into that and check it out. Um, let's see. Buying spray guns in the new year. Do you ship to Canada and how much are the Adams? So Adams are not my guns. It's just a, a partner site that we promote. Um, they, I just sent you the link right over there. Uh, the pricing, yeah, they ship worldwide and the pricing is anywhere from two to 350 to four, two to 400 bucks in that price range. But, uh, check back tomorrow. They're doing a Christmas special and there's going to be a discount going on tomorrow from tomorrow for a few days. So yeah, check it out. Um, let's see. So any, any auto body, uh, specific auto body and paint questions, guys, this is your time. I'm here to answer your questions on auto body and paint. Um, don't mind me. I'm just here in the bus. Um, is the video and audio still good, guys? Let me know. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to kind of scroll back here. For some reason, my screen is dim and it won't brighten up. I might have to restart my computer. My, my dimmer is not working and everything's kind of dark here. So I, I apologize. Um, JB Langley says, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you too. Okay. Um, Honda Accord, I've turned wrenches for years um, and I'm giving my hand a body work. It needs radio support and panels. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I would suggest if you're brand new to this and you want to get the insider know-how and the fast track to really getting body work done, we've been helping people since 2010. I myself has been painting for over 20 years. I know I look young. I'm you know, in my late thirties, I hate to say, but I painted my first car at 15. Okay. To do an auto body, grew up with it. Um, had my own body shop, you know, did the whole, did spent many, many years in the game. And now I do it as a hobby. Um, and I love to teach it. So if you want to learn more, don't forget to go to learn auto body and to grab that free training. And if you want to check out VIP, check out VIP. Okay. Um, it will help you out. Um, beginner hammer and Dolly Martin better to have uh, one nice versus a cheap set. Yeah. I mean, it depends on your budget, bro. Like if you know, a cheaper set will do it. It's only a hammer and dolly. Okay. It's not like a spray gun or a DA, you know, you kind of want to get better tools once you get into the, the finer refinishing parts of body work. But if you're dealing with a hammer, you can get a cheap set. It's fine. You know, if, if you have the extra budget, the extra money to splurge a little bit, and you, you're, you're the type that likes finer things, then by all means, you know, go and go and get you the, the smooth, uh, hammer and dolly. You know, the only difference is it's smoother. It's like finished nicer. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Is this helping guys? This is your time. I'm here to help you for the next 20 more minutes on auto body Q and a, whatever you got questions, specific projects you're working on. Think about it specifically type it down. Let me know how I can help you. And um, we're here to help you. So Marcus says, Tony, my paint job went bad. What grit should I use to remove it all? Okay, now uh, you said it's a single stage paint job. You don't have to remove it all, okay? Your single stage paint can actually be used as a foundational coat, okay? Kind of like a primer, kind of like a sealer coat, okay? All you have to do is I would, re if you're going to be spraying single stage back on top of it, I would just flatten it out, take all the imperfections, the orange peel out, get it nice and flat. I would actually let it dry for a good week if you have the time. Let it cure, okay? Um, then I would take it down with like a 320 grit. 320 grit uh, will get you to where you want to be, and then you could spray right over that if it's a single stage. 320 to 360, if you want to go crazy, you can go down to 400, but it's not necessary to go that fine if you're spraying single stage, okay? Uh, because the paint is so thick, it's just going to fill. Okay, it fills and it just lays out like gloss. So anywhere from 320, 340, 360, I would say 320, 340 is a good range. Cut it down, get the paint flat, get the texture flat, and then you could spray your new uh, single stage right on top of it. All right. Does that help? Let me know if that helps. Let me know if that helps. Charlie says, how do you fix frame damage? Uh, lucky for you, we're in the middle of editing the BMW series completely finished. I already have it for sale on Facebook. People are texting me to buy it. Um, that was a front end collision repair that we did. Color blended the whole front, painted it, uh, got it ready for sale. Everything is in gonna, is going to be in VIP within the next week or two. 
So uh, please be patient for that. All those videos step-by-step step, are going to be in VIP very soon. Uh, but I do have a part of it coming out tomorrow on YouTube. So keep your eye open for that. We did uh, some frame repair and whatnot. Um, I'm just chilling on the floor right now. <laughs> Check out my, my uh, GoPad. Okay. So hopefully that helps. Um, let's see. Perfect. Thank you. Um, when you raise your prices, are you adding anything different in the paint job? Less trash, no orange peel, et cetera. Yeah. You know, if, if you're going to be giving people a quality job, you're going to raise your prices because you got more work to go into it. You're going to take your time prepping. You're going to do a better job prepping. Maybe during the masking stage, you know, you're going to be, or during the prep stage, you're going to be taking off trim and molding. You know, maybe you're going to be taking out lights. Okay. That's all extra work. You're going to be charging a few hundred dollars more for that type of work. Okay. Uh, but then when it comes to the paint job, if you're going to be, you know, if you're going to want to come out with a nice paint job, single stage or base coat, clear coat, you're going to charge more period because there's more prep time, you know, because I would say 80% of the job is your prep time. 20% is painting. Okay. Um, because you, you need to know how to paint. You need to know how to set your gun up, how far distance away from the panel, speed, depending on pressure settings, okay? And not running because if you run, you're just creating more work for yourself because you got to cut and buff or you got to sand and redo the panel, okay? So um, absolutely, you're going to be giving them a better paint job. Um, when I do, when I used to do paint jobs for customers, um, I used to charge extra for color sanding and buffing. So I was always known in the community, the auto body community, you know, back way back when 15 years ago to never run. So body shops used to hire me to basically go there. I was literally 17, 18 years old after high school, body shops would hire me. They would pay me 150 bucks to go in their booth. Everything would be prepped up. All I would have to do is tack it down and spray it. Um, and it would take me, depending on uh, if it was a single stage or basically clear coat, one to two hours, and I would get 150 bucks cash in my pocket, um, body shops, and I would do six to seven cars uh, a week, sometimes two in, a, in an afternoon. And um, that was what I did. I painted a lot, you know, and then I did my own auto body and paint jobs on the side. So, um, yeah, I've I <laughs> been doing this for a very long time. Um, are you going to be are you doing any giveaways next year? Actually, we're doing a giveaway right now. We're going to be giving a gun butt away to a total newbie who has never been on before. So anybody in the U.S. who's just tuning in for the first time, never been on before, um, type in the chat. Let me know who you are. Be honest. Please be honest. Okay? Please be honest. You got to be in the U.S. because uh, we're just doing this giveaway for the U.S. people right now. Um, type in the chat. And also, guys, don't forget to... Go here to subscribe. So if you haven't, if this is your first time, also subscribe to learnautobodypaint.com, the newsletter. Uh, okay, phase one. You are the winner today. I told everybody that uh, whoever joined today was going to get a free gift. So we're going to be sending you um, a GunBud Ultra lighting system, which looks like this. Okay, it helps you paint in total. I've literally painted a complete car in total darkness in a black garage with this gun bud ultra lighting system. No joke, I have it on video, it's on VIP, okay? Uh, and I use it for every paint job that I do now because the number one failure for painting is not being able to see what you're doing. So if you have direct light in front without any shadows and obstruction, you're gonna be able to see how your paint lays on so much nicer. And if you see a dry spot as you're painting, you could just spray right over it and get the glossy looks that we, we do. Like, it's amazing. It's an amazing little gadget. I literally laughed when I first reviewed this product. I thought it was a joke, okay, until I sprayed with it. And this thing's a number one seller on uh, Amazon. If you take a look at it, four and a half star ratings, few hundred reviews. So I can't be, you know, there's, there's no way I'm, I'm making this stuff up. Um, so pheasant one quart, all you got to do to claim your gun, bud, just help me with shipping and handling. I have about 10 of these, uh, sitting in, in the back of my bus over here. Um, just help me with $15 shipping and handling. They sell for $59.95 on Amazon. Okay. So if you're willing to just help with the $15 shipping and handling, 
Um, I'll have my daughter pack one of these up and send it to you. So all you have to do is email ninja support at learn ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. There's the link. Um, and give them, tell them you're the gun bud winner. Okay. What's your name, buddy? Phase one court. Uh, what's your name? Tell them your name and say you won the gun bud ultra lighting system um, on the YouTube live and then give them your best mailing address and then they'll send you a PayPal link for 15 bucks. Just cover the shipping and handling, dude. Court. All right. Um, these sell, You can flip it on eBay for 50 bucks if you wanted to. All right. Just saying. Uh, if you don't want to use it. But I highly suggest using the damn thing. I use it on every paint job. Anyway, um, any auto body questions, guys? Tune, type them in right now. Uh, do you think it's best to come in under price versus competition and get more work? Or price it accordingly? Um, I It depends, man. It depends. If you want to get more jobs, if you're hungry and you want to get your name out there, you could tell the guy, look, I'm going to give you a good deal. But you got to make sure to tell your friends and family about me. You know, if they need anything, come to me and I'll give you, you know, instead of charging you $3,500 for the paint job, you know, I'll do it for 29 or 2850 or 3000, you know, whatever. What do you, Rob Zillow, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Give me more details. How much you planning to charge? What are you doing? A complete paint job, single stage, base coat, clear coat. Let me know what you're doing. I can kind of help you out a little bit further. John, Oklahoma VIP. What's up, John? What's up, Rich Reese? What's up, dudes? Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Just checking out the Q&A. All right, guys, we're going to be on for another 10, 12 minutes or so. Uh, so if you have any detailed questions on auto body, type them in now. This is your time. I'm, I'm only doing this for you guys. Okay, I don't have to do this every week. Uh, I just want to help the few that jump on that need help. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you guys. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. You know, I actually have, I could be doing other things. I could be playing trading crypto and making uh, a lot of money right now. <laughs> no joke. Speaking of crypto, anybody in here playing with crypto? I just sold my crypto punk last night for a six figure flip, believe it or not insane shit going on right now guys in the crypto space oklahoma old vip uh okay let's see rich reese says if you put two clear coats over clear binder is that class as a flow code uh yeah yeah flow coat is more after your clear coat dries and cures you sand it with around 800 grit Okay, 800 to 1,000 grit, and then you clear it twice again, that's a flow coat, okay? Um, I, I wouldn't consider a flow coat clearing at the same time. Flow coat is more, you put your two coats of clear, you let it dry for a few days, maybe even a week or two. You cut it down uh, with, I would say 800 is a good grit, okay? You're going to think it's going to scratch up the clear coat, but just be careful you don't cut through to the base coat. Cut it with 800, get it flat, and then two to three coats of clear on top of that. That's a flow coat. Uh, first time on your channel. Love your channel, newbie. Thank you so much for the support, Sean. You know, I could be putting out so much more um, auto painting content, but I don't do it full time. You know, I just do it part time. Uh, but I've been doing this for over 20 years, guys. This is a long time. So I like to help out like this, you know, the Q&As and stuff. It's fun for me and I get to interact with you guys personally. <clears throat> but um, we do have new videos coming out. So don't forget to subscribe and also check out our trainings at learnautobodyandpaint.com, guys. We got full hundreds of hours of step-by-step -step detailed videos through all scenarios. Like I, it was, li we literally built a Netflix style program course of auto body and paint anything you want to know it's in there you know candy painting um safety tools two-tone paint jobs graphics flames collision repair rust repair sheet metal um motorcycles it's all in there um okay flatter with 150 
I'm not sure what you mean, flatter with 150. That's too coarse. Oh, 1500. Well, you want to be careful uh, because if you clear coat over something that fine, it, it does have the possibility to chip off over time because your sand scratches in the 1500 grit, you know, or 2000 grit, you could clear over it and it'll look good. But as far as durability and the time it's going to last, because it's so fine, you it you know, say this is a 400 coarse grit, you know, Mike you zoomed in a million X, you know, a thousand X or whatever, but this is like a, a thousand grit or 1500 grit. It has the possibility of chipping and blowing off because there's not enough tooth for your new clear coat to stick and to, to bond in. Okay. You need, you need that, that coarse tooth. Okay. For your paint to grab. Hopefully that helps. Rob Zilla says, I paint motorcycles from home the past year. So to get my name out there, I only charge 450 for a complete bike. So yes, only covers materials really. Oh my God, bro. That's cheap. That's too cheap. You need to double your prices for a motorcycle. Um, you got to tell them labor. Is, you got to just tell them labor. You can do it for 400 or 500 labor. Uh, but they have to pay for materials. So it depends on, you know, you could probably get materials for like 200, give or take, right? Because clear coat, a gallon will last you a couple paint jobs, maybe two paint jobs on a bike, two and a half paint jobs, right? So if you get a hundred gallon kit, a hundred dollar kit of clear coat, clear coat for that bike paint job will probably be 50 bucks. Base coat, maybe 50 bucks. Other mis miscellaneous materials, overpricing materials, say 150 for materials overpriced on a motorcycle. Okay. Give or take. Um, so 150 plus 400 or 450 for labor, you know, so you're looking more, more towards six to $700 for your motorcycle paint jobs. Okay. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, I found the shop, but if I jump to 800 in price, that might be too much at once. No, I don't think so, bro. Bro, I have a, look, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. <clears throat> he who undervalues himself is justly undervalued by others. Okay, don't be afraid to raise your prices. You're worth it. So keep that in mind. Okay, there's no reason the other guy is better than you. Um, base coat, clear coat. Cool, cool, cool. How do I buy it in the UK? Um, buy what in the UK? Sorry, guys. Just trying to share this with you here here click this link i'm not sure if if they will ship if amazon will ship this to the uk i'm not sure but you can try it i just i just amazon gunbud and you can see it's a bestseller on amazon uh 280 reviews um okay basically clear coat your course uh rich reese my course you can get um, it's an online program. So all you got to do is go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right here and sign up to get the free training. But on the next page is a special offer to join VIP at an incredible price point. Incredible. Like it's, it's just too good to be true. No joke. And I used to sell this thing for hundreds of dollars when I launched it uh, 10 years ago. But now there's like 10x more material in there than when I first launched it. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Do you prefer, hold on. No problem, Richie. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just reversing back here. Do you prefer paintless dent repair or filler for hail damage? Well, well, if you have a lot of hail damage, it's going to be a real pain in the ass to do paintless dent repair on all those spots. Plus PDR is a, is a skill set. Like if you don't do it daily, it's going to be very hard to do. Okay. I'm not a PDR guy. 
Um, I never tried getting into it. We do have a PDR training quick start guide in Learn Auto Body VIP, okay, from a PDR buddy that actually wrote the book for me. Um, and we do have some videos in there in VIP, but I don't do PDR. So, you know, if it's a bunch of hail dents, I would just kind of like hit them out from underneath, grind everything, scuff everything down with like 80 grit, give it a skim coat and flatten it out. That's what I would do. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What's the best grit to use when sanding over? Primer two stage will be topped with primer, sealer, then base, then clear. So uh, if you want to finish 400 grit dry or wet sand, I usually dry sand it and then I give it a final rubbing of love uh, by hand, wet sand. Okay. Because I just feel like wet sanding gives you such a cleaner cut. Um, and you, it just, you know, I just, some people say that's old school, but that's the way I like to do it. A lot of people still do it like that. Um, I think it's, uh, it's cleaner. You, you can see, you get a better cut. The water gl glistens over the primer and the body parts, and you get to see if there's any imperfections and the water acts as like a clear coat and you're going to be able to see what it looks what it looks like before you even spray your clear coat all right um and they say the best body jobs are done are finished by hand okay not by machine so i like to go over especially sentimental builds uh projects that i like i'll go over the whole car by hand wet sanding at the very end that's just me you could do a dry sanding but i think with dry sanding there's more uh you're more prone to get pigtails uh, from the sander, you know, pigtails, basically you're getting caking of, of the, the powder of your primer and it's vibrating and it's putting these little pigtail scratch marks in your finished product. When you're finishing, when you're wet sanding, you don't get that. Okay. Um, okay. You guys enjoying this so far? You guys good? Let me know. Um, if you guys are good, we're going to take a couple more questions. I actually have it right here. Um, that's what I do. Thank you, sir. Nice to know I'm doing it correctly. Excellent. 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 Uh, all by hand. Yes, that's the way to go. You know, that's the way to go, uh, especially for custom paint jobs. If you're doing a commercial, you know, something in and out that you're doing jobs for customers or whatnot, you don't have to go that far. Okay. You could just finish with dry sanding bomb, bomb, bomb and paint it. You should be good. You know what I mean? But, um, Tony just sent an email with address. Okay. Excellent, buddy. <clears throat> Do you seal everything? Uh, no, you don't have to seal everything. You could paint directly over a single stage. You could paint over clear coat. Okay. It depends on what you're doing. Um, and, and keep in mind a primer is a sealer. Okay. A primer is a sealer. So you could use a primer filler, <clears throat> Sorry, guys, as your sealer. And there are primer filler slash sealers. And that's what I use. Um, if you reduce your primer a little bit more, it basically turns into a sealer. But I like to finish off with a 2K primer filler, um, block it out, and then do my base coat, uh, clear coat on top of that or single stage. That's just me. Um, can you wipe base coat with wax and grease remover? Absolutely not. You're going to eat the paint up. Okay. Uh, Wax and grease remover goes over primer only, okay, uh, or bare body parts with a little bit of, uh, you can have body filler on it, sanded metal or whatever. You can you can spray wax and grease remover on that. You never want to spray wax and grease remover on base coat because it will eat it up. <coughs> no problem, guys. Um, okay, last question right here, guys, and I'm heading out. Um, hey, what's up, Tony? Mike from Jersey. I'm going to do a few fenders on my 94 Impala SS, probably when weather warms up some. I have a 20-gallon air compressor and a low-volume, low-pressure spray gun. Any uh, any advice? Yeah, so um, your compressor is small if you're going to be doing large repairs on that car. If you're going to be working on small fenders at a time or little body spots at a time, no problem. But I would not paint your car with that 20-gallon compressor, okay? Uh, painting a panel. I don't even think it's going to keep up with painting a hood. You could probably do it if you know how to play catch up with the air compressor, meaning when the pressure starts getting low, you got to pause and you got to wait and you got to watch your paint dry up in the middle of your hood uh, until the pressure builds back up until you can start spraying again. So it's a little tricky uh, for more experienced people. They know what they're doing. They could, they could manipulate and play with it to get it to work. 
Um, I've painted a whole car with a 30 gallon compressor. You got to play the catch up game and wait. Uh, but panels and stuff, um, I would say if you're doing like a, a door or fenders or a little quarter panel repairs, you're going to be okay with that 20 gallon. Uh, but painting a hood's going to be on the real, really on the edge. If you want to paint the complete hood, at least get a 30 gallon, 33 gallon air compressor. So you have enough volume. So you don't run out of air while you're in the middle of clear coating your hood. Cause that's the worst time to run out of air. All right. When you're clear coating a hood, you want to make sure you can finish the whole thing, go through all the way instead of drying and dying out in the middle. You guys get what I'm saying? So, so yeah. So my tip is if you want to do a complete on that upgrade to a 60 gallon air compressor, five to six horsepower motor, um, something that gives you more volume, low volume, low pressure spray gun is great for what you're doing. So, um, so yeah. <clears throat> um, is everybody enjoying this so far? You guys getting some information out of it? Let me know, type in the chat, uh, which primer can be used as a sealer. Um, PPG has a brand, uh, out right now i forgot what it was but basically any um there's also if you want to use a sealer only there's a 1k sealer that you can use that i used by nascent it's a 1k so you all you do is mix it and spray it you don't even add anything in it and it's pretty easy to use um it's by nascent just check out 1k sealer by nascent it's pretty easy to use you could just you just spray it right over your uh, your panels or whatever you're doing. And then you can spray base coat right on top of that. But I will get back to you on what primer you can use as a sealer. Pretty um, PPG has a brand. I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but I'll I'll make sure I get that to you. All right. So, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to head out. Um, again, don't forget, check out this awesome product. If you haven't, um, the GunBud Ultra Lighting System um, on Amazon. Um, check Come back to Zula tomorrow. They're going to be doing a sale, a Christmas sale where you can get uh, these guns at um, a pretty good deal, um, a, a discount, a major discount tomorrow uh, launching on Zula.com. And then if you guys are total newbies, you want to get more training on auto body. I'm actually revamping part of the program right now. Uh, we have hundreds of hours of step-by-step -step videos that will help you through every single piece of the process um in learn auto body vip so check it out guys check it out you can subscribe to free training there um get alerts for all of our youtube lives by email because we alert our newsletter people on the emails going out uh, on the lives that we do and um and that's pretty much it guys i'm glad uh glad you you jumped on today and i'll see you next week monday okay next week monday is the official time uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Monday nights. We may start doing a different time. I'll let you know. Uh, but again, it's Tony. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know how you like the, the training today. Hopefully I help most of you guys out. Um, have a great evening. Have a great day wherever you are. And I'll be in touch and keep your eyes open for a new video on the YouTube channel tomorrow, Thursday. New video coming out on the BMW Project Spraying Primers and doing a uh, spray gun review on a cheapo spray gun versus a medium grade, uh, the Atom X16. I don't have it with me here. Oh, here it is. I did a review on this gun here, the X16 uh, versus another cheaper mini gun. And we sprayed primer and, uh, and, and all that out of these guns. All right. So happy holidays to you and your family as well, guys. I'll see you on next week, Monday. It'll be after Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, I, I don't like to stay safe. I don't like to say, say stay safe because everybody uses it. I like to say be bold, you know, break the rules and get in trouble. You know, that's what I like to say. I got to come up with a better phrase for that. But that's that's the overall where I'm coming from. Have a great day, guys. Stay positive. Talk to you soon. Um, see you on next week, Monday evening. Peace.